Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to Philippian Fridays. And you guys, I am overly excited. I will try to contain myself about this video. Let me tell you what I'm going to share with you guys. I have thought about this well, months ago and I'm so happy it has finally materialized <laughs> and it's perfect for the holiday season. If you love to send hot cocoa packets. You are going to love and appreciate this video. You guys, taking the shaker to the next level. I introduce to you all my holiday edible shakers in a cocoa pouch, pocket, or purse. And it's so adorable. And let me tell you, when I say easy, when I say quick, I mean just that. Now you guys are going to hear me laugh and giggle a lot because I'm happy to finally be done. I conceived this idea in late spring. So it's been several months and I never did anything with it couple reasons. One reason being I got caught up in doing other crafts and the other reason I'll discuss a little bit later but I'm finally done and in addition to making edible shakers which you see all of my sprinkles right here I want you guys to know that you will be making shakers throughout the year because when Christmas is over and spring starts imagine making shakers that have growing seeds in them for all your garden lovers. What about edible seeds? What about spices and herbs? What about lavender? This would be a good smelling shaker. What about coffee for all your coffee lover friends? What about crushed petals? <laughs> and it goes on and on and on. Believe me, you will be making shakers all year. I'll start with this one. I'm loving this paper that's Frank Garcia's peppermint collection there. This is the front and this is the back. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know what this is. It's curly ribbon and I have a bail attached with an artist safety pin. And then for those of you who follow my channel again, <laughs> you've seen something like this. This creation, you guys, is flip back art style. If you're interested in flip back art, I will have links to uh, my playlist and also my flip back art 101. I am really loving this. Now, I do want to point out on this purse here, and it's a purse because I've added handles. So this would go to a girl. I've added this pouch pocket here. Uh-huh. And I have one of my simple and easy holiday Christmas tags tucked in there. Now, I'm going to have a link to my original video where I share really simple and quick shakers. This process for this one is the same, but there's a couple steps that are different. Now, before I came up with the idea of making my own cocoa holder, I stored my cards in a clear bag because I didn't know what else to use. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm having a pipe cleaner Christmas and it continues on because I made a wreath out of pipe cleaner. And I share with you guys how you can turn your pipe cleaner into bowls. So I have a bowl right there, have a little milk button right there. And then I have adorned my wreath with sprinkles, edible sprinkles. And then I have a big old bag of marshmallows because I need to mass produce these. And believe me, if you're going to mass produce, it's going to be so quick with my process. So then you open it up. And this is so, oh, hmm. <laughs> on this side here, I've added my cocoa in a flippy and it's attached from the back side. And then I've added some die cuts and some tags and check out this tag, what it states. It gives the directions for making hot chocolate. And then this one states hot cocoa to warm your heart. And then I've added a die cut of a pot super duper cute and that's how the back looks the recipient especially if it's a child will love to receive an edible shaker okay now so let's look at this one this is the front of my purse here once again purse because it has the handles and yes i use pipe cleaner 
<laughs> as my handles. I got my curly ribbon going on. I have a um, little ornament of a candy cane there. And then I have a larger pouch pocket here with two tags in it that says Merry Christmas and Cherish the Season along with a candy cane. Now, you guys, you can really stuff and load these pouches or these purses with a whole lot of different goodies. I will definitely be making more of these. I'll leave that one out. So let's take out my edible shaker card. But this right here, ah! <laughs> this is a tag, right? But take a look at it. It's a tag that's holding little bitty edible flippies with different types of sprinkles. This card is very similar to this one here. I have my wreath there. The inside is the same, except for this card, I have my um, cocoa hanging from the and That's where the flip back art comes in at because with these flippies, you can layer any way you I have like. a brilliant idea for you grandmothers out there and you grandfathers who craft. For those of you who have a lot of nieces and nephews and godchildren, unfortunately, we cannot always be with our loved ones on their special day. But imagine it's a child's birthday. You can't be there. Make a quick and easy edible shaker card. Get some of their favorite sprinkles or ones you think they might like. Take a picture of a cupcake. <laughs> Make you a flippy tag full of edible shake shake. You send that to them and in your message, right? When you sprinkle this on your cupcake, you think of me. And wouldn't that child think of you? I tell you, that's one very easy way of being present with your loved one. This last one is my favorite. It's the most basic. It's the simplest one to make, but it's my favorite because I am having a gingerbread party and all you guys are invited. My party will be the week of Christmas and that's if the Lord says the same. We don't hear that anymore, right? <laughs> we can't do anything without him. But you guys, you guys, you guys, okay, oh. what these are. <laughs> when I was in Michael's and saw these gingerbread sprinkles, I almost lost my mind. I had never seen gingerbread sprinkles before. And that's what's in this flippy here. And these little things, they're delicious. So I dedicated a card to the gingerbread girl. My niece will love this. Look at the little face right there. And I just stamped Gingerbread Kisses Christmas Wishes. I am not done with this Stamps of Life gingerbread set. I have the whole I cannot wait to play with it. But this is my fave. And on the back, I have my cocoa pouch hanging. This shaker is going to be really easy to make because you can use your dies. Take your die, punch it out where you like it. I'm using an A2 size card, fold it. And then after that, take your hot glue gun and in sections, apply your glue to make your wreath. You want to do it in sections because you want, you want a nice circle because it is a wreath. And then after that, well, what I should have did here, <laughs> you're going to see that I can't open up my card because I didn't add a liner. So make sure you do that. And I'll do that right now. And then I'm going to take my hot glue and apply my gingerbread sprinkles down be sure not to eat them all up because they do taste good. <laughs> and choose a bag that's bigger than your opening because you do want room for your shake shake to shake. And these are just different types of sprinkles that are available. I couldn't believe the number of different designs they have. Fold your shaker and turn it upside down because you want the strip side to be on the bottom. And use pop dots to adhere your shaker to your card and I had to redo mine because I didn't have mine folded low enough and I lost some sprinkles and there you go very simple take another clear bag to add your cocoa pouch to it and you can decide if you want to adhere that down that way or from the back it's all up to you let's make the pocket I'm using the second largest die you need two die cuts of this die and 
We're going to use rope. I like the addition of rope because it's going to add dimension to our purse, which will enable you to put thicker things in it and keep it from tearing. So use your hot glue, add it down just like so, and then add more hot glue on top of your rope and add your second piece. And you can do it in sections like I'm doing right now. Give it a good rub, and you're basically you're basically done. Now I'm adding another pocket on top of my pouch or pocket there. And here, if you want to make it into a purse, well, take your pipe cleaner, add glue to both sides, and then adhere your pipe cleaner down. But here, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Did you all enjoy my tutorial? Yes, you can make these. These are quick, they're fast, they're inexpensive. You can mass produce these in no time. What about making these for church, a fundraiser, or your kids' classrooms? Or if you Christmas carol like my family does, you can make some of these up and pass them out to the kids when you Christmas carol. And you can make these in different sizes for after all, Cocoa packs come in different sizes. And this pocket pouch I shared with you guys earlier, it's not only perfect for tags, but what about a gift card? And when you're ready to mail, don't worry because they fit inside this larger size envelope. You guys are gonna see me make more of these throughout the year. There's a trend going around. The loaded envelope, well, I have not tried my hand at one yet, but I could see myself making a loaded and stuffed pocket, purse, or a pouch. Okay, so let me share some important information with you all. I could hear some of your thoughts. You're asking, are these bags safe for food consumption? Well, that question was my number one concern, and that was the reason why I did not make and share these edible shakers earlier because I needed to be sure that these bags are safe. Now, I went on a hunt looking for clear bags that are similar to bags used in general packaging, but safe for food, and I couldn't find any. Now, I buy all of my clear bags from the company Clear Bags, and they do make safe, food safe bags, but they're not similar to these type of bags. And so I call Clear Bags and ask them, hey, are your bags that are intended for general packaging, are those bags safe for food? And this is the information that I got from a Clear Bags representative. He told me that, yes, the bags are safe for food consumption. However, they're not FDA approved. Okay, let me try to break that down. It's basically a legality, technicality type thing. These bags are made for general packaging. They're not exclusively for food, so they will never get FDA approval because the only bags that get FDA approval are the bags that are designed exclusively for food and of course they have to pass all those types. I tests. hope that makes sense to you all. I encourage you to do your own homework. If you find out something different, please share it with all of us. But I feel confident with that answer and so I will continue to use these bags. I hope you all have been inspired by my creativity. If you like this video, why not like it and give it a thumbs up? Also, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. Feel free to share this video. More so, feel free to adopt any of my ideas. I only ask for proper credits, which is a shout out and a link back to this video. Now, I wanna thank you guys for watching and as always, blessings.